Hey guys, how's it going? Floodmon14 here, and we're back with another episode of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy, so let's get into it, shall we? Uh, let's see. Yeah. Alright. Having fun playing this, but uh, this will be our uh, fifth episode for today. Uh, so, uh, yeah, wish me luck. We're going to have some more duels. Let's get our game on, guys! <laughs> Alright. And we did uh, do a hard save, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So let's hit continue. And we should be at, yeah, 2994 DP. Alright, so in the last episode, we continued uh, trudging along with our Flood deck. And um, we beat, uh, who did we beat? Oh, Professor Banner Fry, man. And that guy was playing the mind games big time with the, uh, <laughs> uh, the, uh, the you know trap stun strategy uh yeah and today's our, the day of our you know we sent the mail to Jaden, so let's duel him shall we yeah you're here i knew you wouldn't miss a duel time's a wasting get your game on flood <laughs> all right Jaden, let's do it let's it's time to do it all right and this will be the last episode of this recording session yeah, like I said, kind of wanted to get about, eh, about five or so. Ooh, we got Trap Master, that's great. Yeah, I wanted to get about uh, five or so episodes. And uh, yeah, today is uh, still uh, September the 26th, 2021. Also, if you're really, 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 really observant, and uh, if you are, hey, sh props to you, man. You're, you're my best, you know what? You're my number one viewer. Sorry, Flood, my Luster Dragon is totally gonna attack Mother Grizzly. Eh, <laughs> looks like I got my game on. All right, and Luster Dragon, that's a great card, but we'll special summon. Uh, but like I was saying, if you're really, really, really observant, ooh, we could play Island Turtle, and then, that's actually kind of a good idea. Let's do it. Oh, no, 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 let's play Maiden of the Aqua instead, our deck leader from Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you're really observant, you may notice there by Plucky, you know, my stuffed animal, the duck, uh, that, uh, yeah, I actually put up a few packs, which I don't know if you can see them too clearly, but yeah, I put up a few packs of, uh, of the, uh, Mega Pack that came out of the Legendary Collection. And it has the, uh, yeah, who's all's on that? It has Zane, Chaz, Jaden, Jesse, and Aster on it. So, yeah, how appropriate, right? Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, now what shall we do? Uh, how much? 1900. Uh, so yeah, I figured I'd add those, you know, kind of chilling in the background, you know, and hopefully those guys will cheer us on while we, uh, you know, kind of go through this game. And, um, uh, and in between the editing, like between today and, you know, some other day, I'll check out some of the other blank spots we have available and see if I can put in some more GX packs, kind of, kind of to surround us, you know, with their, uh, legendary status. Uh, let's start at the first one. Trap hole! Good choice, good choice. All right. Well, Trap Master, you did me proud. Okay, so we got Granadora, but I still need... Hmm. Um, tell you what, let's set a uh, Kotetsu, and he'll fit just uh, a quick card. I'll probably take one that'll power up Granadora, yeah. And then uh, we'll see what we can do next turn. Your turn, Jaden. Ah, just gonna. Well, hey, the less you do, the better, bro. I mean, you didn't set any extra face downs. You didn't uh, summon another monster, so I'm cool with that. Uh, let's just take Black Pendant. I know Malevolent Nuzzer is good. Snatch Steel, I know, is good. Uh, most likely, I'll take Snatch Steel every time with Kotetsu. But, you know, here, all I need is the 500 extra. So, you know what? Let's try Giant Trunade. All right. No Magic Jammer, huh? All right, all right. So, now we'll summon Granadora. Gain the 1,000. Nice, nice. And we'll equip it with Black Pendant. Yeah. There we go. Alright. And now we will... I don't think I need to set Trap Hole. We'll just attack. Alright. Go. Swallowtail Spike Tail. Oh wait, no, he has head. Yeah, Spike Head. Oh, my bad. 
All right. I'm sorry, Luster Dragon. Yeah, bro. He went down. And what time are we at? Five minutes, man. These duels are fun. Oh, premature burial. Nice. Well, I got that too, but I haven't been able to play it yet. Skyscraper. Please don't summon a hero. Ooh, he's gonna search for one. Yeah, card destruction. Pretty good card. Yeah. I'm gonna summon Elm. Oh, he got a hero. He got Spark Man. Well, I guess I should have set Trap Hole. That's my bad, guys. Yep. Nice combo, Jaden. Nice combo. And I'll take 2,000. Oh, man. All right. Well, oh, I got my Luster Dragon. That's good. I can take out a Spark Man. I uh, also got Terror King Salmon. Giga Gaga Gigo. So if we draw a Legendary Ocean, what's nice is that these five star cards go down to four star, and that's that's almost broke. Four star with 2600, four star with 2650, broken. So yeah, I definitely want to get um, three Legendary Ocean in hit in this deck ASAP as soon as possible, because it'll make it that much better. Probably one or two terraforming too. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll try to, we'll get, our deck will get better as we go. You know, right now we're just kind of, we're kind of still using, you know, some of the cards you basically just start with. So I'm going to summon Avion. All right. Going to use that Skyscraper again. You see this duel, you know, that other duel from last episode, Jaden, you weren't being too aggressive. I was just like, why are you not using Skyscraper? You know, you just throw in Mercenatrix in defense mode. But this episode... This episode, Jaden, you're using Skyscraper right, the right way. I like it. I like it. I like it, buddy. All right, but you know what? The time has come. Uh, no, 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 no. Actually, no. I was going to tribute summon, but if we throw out Tomato, I have three in the deck. So if we just have this take out Avion, um, we can, uh, even if he plays like Bubble Man and goes for Skyscraper again. We'll let the attacks go through, even though I have Negate Attack, and that way we can just kind of thin the deck with the Tomatoes. So yeah, come at me, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take the damage. I'll take the damage. I could negate it, but I want to thin the deck. I want to use another Tomato, so... Yeah, yes. I will Special Summon another Tomato. Be nice if we could get Sangan. I uh, don't know what pack that would be in, but... Uh, Oh, a face down card. I don't like that. I don't like that. Uh, well, I'm kind of scared, but we got to do something. So let's, and uh, he still hasn't destroyed Maiden of the Aqua. So let's tribute Mystic Tomato. Go with Salmon. All right, Jaden, do you have the Mirror Force? Ooh, let's see. Oh, okay, good. No, no, he, he didn't have it. He didn't have it. And he also didn't have, like, Trap Hole either. So that's... That's great. That turn went about as best as I could have wished for. All right, all right. We're looking good here. We're looking good. All right. Messenger of Peace. Don't really need that now, but if we get into a pinch... Yeah, check this card out, guys. You must pay 100 during each of your standby phases. If not, this is destroyed. All monsters with an attack of 1,500 points or more cannot attack. That's, like, awesome. And really, 100 points each phase? That's almost like nothing, really. The cost is almost zero, basically. So, yeah, really good card. And I like that we can disable it, you know, whenever we want. So if we see that, you know, we can push for game, we can just turn this card off. And, oh! Oh! Spear Dragon on Spear Dragon Crime! Oh! Oh, that was the best, like, dude. That was the best possible thing. For me to attack into oh, oh it's not over yet it might as well be Jaden it might as well be that was awesome I love Spear Dragon I'm glad I decided to throw it in the deck all right going on the defensive huh well your defenses don't matter with Spear Dragon I mean uh, well uh, there is uh, unless you have Clay Man or Mirror Force I saw you put a new card unless you have Clay Man uh, 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 let me guess uh, yeah yeah I knew it I knew it Predictable, Jaden. Predictable. Predictable. Uh, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... I'm actually going to use this card right now. Messenger of Peace. Go. All right. And now I'm going to throw down... And this is kind of cheeky. I'm putting out Messenger of Peace. And, like, these guys have 2,000 defense. <laughs> so, really, no matter what you do, Jaden, no matter what you do, you can't get past me, bro. Yeah, yeah. Just end your turn. End your turn in shame. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll pay it. 
I'll go one more turn of setting. I want to see if he, like, runs into me. Actually, you know what? I'll attack with Island Turtle, because I feel pretty safe with Messenger of Peace up. And I don't want to let him, like, get some fusion pieces together, so let's attack. What do you got? Cyber Jar! What? Cyber Jar's not banned in this game? Holy smokes! Okay, uh, Bug Roll, attack mode. Uh, Cyber Jar! Wow! Well, we definitely want to try to... We definitely want to try to get that card if we can. All right, and Cyber Tech comes to my hand. Uh, so he got Penguin Soldier. Okay, okay. So he got Penguin Soldier, so what we want to do is... Why can't I attack with Amphibious Buckroth? That's weird. I don't know why, because I haven't attacked with that card yet, so that's weird. Well, either way, Penguin Soldier's weak, so we can just kind of, yeah. Uh, oh, okay, okay, so he's going to return the... Man, but Cyber Jar, dude! Cyber Jar! Man, we definitely want to try to get that. Uh, for show, sure, for show. Sure. Uh, let's see. In my main phase two, I haven't summoned, and I still have Peace Up, which is good. Uh, let's just set Aquamador. Man, Cyber Jar! Well, he's got a lot of cards now, so let's see what he does. Probably do something epic. Yeah, all pot agree. Aw, oh, jeez. This could be bad. This could be bad. Uh, yeah, Heavy Storm. Can't really stop that. Uh, okay, this could be bad. Spear Dragon? Yeah, man. Ah, jeez, Jaden, you destroyed my Spear Dragon. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. Uh, but the good part is, is after attacking, yeah, Spear Dragon's in defense. Oh, no traps! No tra Oh, we just won. We just won. You, you just lost the battle, Jaden. You just lost the battle. You, you just lost the battle. We just won. Okay, so that can destroy for sure. And let's get the most damage I can. Because this deck does have a, like, you know, max damage bonus. So, you know what? I'll summon Sinister Serpent in attack mode. I'll flip Aquamador in attack mode. And, um, yeah. Uh, let's go to battle. So, to get the maximum amount of damage, we want S Sinister Serpent to attack him directly. And, like I said, whenever you have the chance to go for overkill in this game, do it. Like, if I could somehow boost myself all the way to 3,000, I would this turn. Because, um... As you guys have started to see, and as I've started to notice, like at the end of the duel, you get more points for the maximum damage. Hey, nice move! We win. So yeah, definitely go for as much damage as possible. Yeah, because as you can see, like, damage dealt to the opponent 8,000. If we could have somehow, you know, boosted ourselves 2,000 points more, that's more DP. So yeah, and we destroyed 8 monsters in battle. That's really good. Uh, so yeah, man, that was challenging, Jaden. But yeah, Cyber Jar, man. I definitely want to try to get that card. Take a look around. Anything catch your eye? Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, trap Collection. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, sorry. Yeah, these are only 100. So I'm going to get, like, four of these. Uh, Dark Hole, wow. I don't know if that's legal, but... Yeah, these are only 100. We'll get some more. Uh, we'll get some more spells. Uh, what else? Equipments. Oh, various fields. Okay. I don't know exactly what fields can be get got, but maybe we can get a legendary ocean here. Effect monsters? Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we definitely want... Uh, I'll leave myself with like a thousand DP. Yeah. So there we go. Let's see what we get. Let's see what new cards we get. All right. Burfamet. Okay. Sinister Serpent. All right. Dimensional Warrior is actually pretty good. Uh... Karibo. Not bad. Yeah, Dimensional Warrior. Um, oh, Morphing Jar! Oh, sweet! And another Magician of Faith. Yes! Alright, we're definitely editing my wet magical hat. That's pretty good. Yeah, we're definitely editing the deck after this one. Nice, so we got Morphing Jar out of effect. Terraforming, good. Okay, that's good. Main of the Aqua, that's good. Uh, is a Legendary Ocean. Oh, Umiruka, I'll take it. Another Umiruka. Okay, okay, so we got some good Flood Field cards. And terraforming, which is good. Smashing ground, that's pretty good. Uh, scapegoat. I don't know if it's limited in this game, but you know what? If it's not, we'll throw in three or four of those. Another smashing ground. Three smashing ground. That's really good. That's really good. It's good removal. Uh, Rhoda is pretty good. Foolish burial. Hammer shot. Change of heart. Ooh. You know, I don't know if that's banned or not. I mean, snatch steel is legal, so. 
Change of heart, maybe. Confiscation. Woo! Man, we got some good cards. Backup soldier, not bad. Not good goblin housekeeping, good draw card. Threatening roar, that's pretty good. Hero signal, good for hero decks. Self-destruct button. Wow. I wonder if that's banned in this game. Well, if not, that's kind of a cheesy card to include. Because that way, if you're ever losing, you know, uh, you can just kind of play that and be like, Hey, guess what, bro? We tie, you know. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, but Morphing Jar, really good. Check this out. Uh, Morphing Jar, yeah. Uh, both you and your opponent discard all cards in your hands and draw five cards. Yeah, that's really good, really good. Uh, we also got, what else did we get? Yeah, we got, uh, another main of the Aqua Terraforming. Really good. Uh, what else did we get? That's good. Uh, yeah, Scapegoat. Really good. We didn't have that before. Uh, Confiscation and Change of Heart and Reinforcements of the Army. Some good stuff, good stuff. Okay, okay. And, uh, yeah. All right, guys. So, I would say that was a success. No, we're good. We're good with that. You gave me plenty to work with. Tomorrow is Saturday, yeah. All right, sweet. All right, where should I go today? Well, first, where should I go? I'll tell you where we should go. After opening those packs, we should go to the save menu. Yeah, matter of fact, I'm paranoid, so we're gonna save twice. Okay, so to close out this episode, uh, I know it's gonna be a little boring, but I'm gonna edit the deck a little bit here just with you guys. And, um, uh, yeah, I don't really know, how do I, s is there a way to like sort these cards by new? Uh, hmm. Now, j that just says all. Well, I'll tell you what. Will this sort it? Oh, spell. Okay, and trap. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so let's go to a fusion. I see. Okay. Let's go to effect first and find some of those new effect monsters we got. Uh, white magical hat's pretty good. Might want to try it out. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, the dimensional warriors are good. Don't think I'll put them in my deck, but, uh, let's see. Let's see. Where's that morphing jar? Oh, and Magician of Face not limited. Yeah, definitely gonna put that at two for sure. Now, this is limited to one. I think blue means one, so yeah. Uh, no more man-ander bugs, that's okay. Uh, yeah, morphing jar, and it it's legal, it's legal in this game. <laughs> oh, sweet. Yeah, definitely gonna throw that in. Uh, anything else that we got that was an effect monster that's good? Uh, oh yeah, I forgot what pack. Uh, we got these from, but I definitely want to try for another Nimble Momonga. I forgot exactly which pack, but I'll tell you what, in between episodes, in between this and the next recording session, I'll look up where we got Mama Grizzly and Nimble Momonga, because we definitely want three of each, you know, to, to maximize the, you know, efficiency. Uh, Made of the Aqua, right? So with this, I think I can take out Island Turtle, because, uh, yeah, in her effect, it, it's, it's, you know, as long as there's no field uh, face-up card on the field, the field is treated as Umi. Yet, uh, there's no increasing, but um, some of our cards need Umi to work, so we can use this card instead, you know, if we can't draw Umi for whatever reason. And she's got good defense, um, yeah, 2000. As you saw, like, um, Island Turtle hung around all duel last duel, you know, so, yeah. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, any more effect monsters I want to put in? Uh, oh, Gora Turtle is interesting. Yeah, check this card out, guys. This is kind of like Messenger of Peace, um, but, uh, yeah, s you know, it's an effect monster. As long as this card remains face up on the field, monsters with an attack of 1900 or more cannot attack. Yeah, so that's honestly pretty good. So let's throw it in, yeah. Uh, Yomi Ship, interesting. Um, yeah, when destroyed, destroy that monster. Eh. Well, it is an Aqua card, but mm, I think we can do better. I think we can do better than that, so... Nah, we're gonna pass on uh, that one. Uh, right, okay. Alright. And nope, that's not... that'll do it. So let's go to the uh, spells. Yeah, let's definitely check out some of those broken spells we got, like Change of Heart and Confiscation. Let's see if those are legal, yeah. Because that's just crazy if they are. <laughs> but hey, I wouldn't expect that Snatch Steel will be legal, so maybe? I don't know. Okay, Scapegoat. 
Okay, scapegoat's not uh, banned, not limited or anything. So yeah, we'll put in two of that. Oh, also we got Smashing Ground. Definitely want all of those in. Definitely want, okay. I think red means it's banned. So yeah, let's try to throw it in, but I don't think it's gonna work. You know, actually, let me try to exit the deck right now, see if it works. Uh, save, yeah. Well, it let us put it in, so maybe it's okay? I don't know, I don't know. Uh, let's see. But, uh, yeah, it looks like we're at about 20 minutes, guys. So the battery, the storage on my phone is probably gonna run out soon. So if it does, you know, as always, I'll see you guys next time. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. But, uh, <laughs> hey, we definitely got some good cards this episode. And, uh, uh, like I said, if it cuts off, you know, off screen, I'll just kind of finish editing the deck. And uh, we'll start the next episode uh, dueling some more fellas. Or, uh, or females, you know. Uh, there are other people in this game. Uh, let's see, what else? What else? Confiscation. Yeah, let's try to throw that in. Uh, okay. Okay, we got three Umiruka. Like I said, I prefer a Legendary Ocean, but we'll go with that for now. And uh, Terraforming, right. We got Terraforming, too. So, yeah, we're doing good as far as getting some more Flood-based cards. Foolish Burial is pretty good, so we'll throw that in. Uh, I don't know if we have Monster Reborn or anything, but yeah. Um, yeah, Terraforming. Good, good. And I uh, think... We could put in token, but nah. Yeah, three smashing ground, hell yeah. Man, our deck has 88 cards, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll definitely have to edit this off screen and take some stuff out. Uh, this card's pretty good too, Dark Factory. Yeah, select two normal monsters and add them to your hand. That's pretty good recovery, honestly. And can you use, can be used in pretty much any deck, so I recommend it, yeah. Uh, okay, so now let's go to the traps. And uh, let's see here. Uh, I forget, did we get any really, really good traps? I don't remember, let's just look at everything. Uh, let's see, oh yeah, self-destruct button, wow. It's not banned. You know what, I'm gonna throw in one of this. Just, just to, I'm gonna be that guy. I'm gonna be that guy. You know, and it's just like, it's such a cheesy card because it's like, basically if you're in a losing situation, yeah. If, if your points are lower and the difference is 7,000 or more, both players' points become zero. It forces a tie. And it's legal in this game. This card's banned these days, so, you know, why not? You know, you never know. I could brick and then have this, and it'd just be like, boop, sorry, we tie, you know. It's just so cheesy, I love it. Uh, threatening Roar. Ooh, Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. That's really good, so check this out. Yeah, throw away a card. Return a card on your opponent's field to the top of the owner's deck. So yeah really good card uh, now this works pretty good if you have multiples yeah draw a number of cards equal to good goblin housekeeping plus one and then return one card to the bottom of your deck so yeah pretty good draw card if you can get three uh, I think green means you can only have two but it's still pretty good so yeah uh, okay now, I think that's all the traps so now we just go to I, I forget what normal monsters we got that are any good. You know what? I think that'll do for now. As far as this video go guy goes. Uh, goes. So, uh, yeah. Uh, that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. And off screen, I'll just take out a bunch of cards that we don't really need. Alright. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I forget. Did we get any good normal monsters? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Ah, yeah. Man, this was a fun recording session. Definitely glad I decided to start Let's Playing this, man. This is a fun game. Uh, yeah. Alright. Let's see. Any flood monsters here? Nope. Alright. So now I just gotta go start taking some stuff out. You have 90 cards in the deck. 90! Wow. <laughs> Uh, is there a way I can, I can tell the composition of this deck as well? Oh, I think there is. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So if we go here to my deck. Ah, okay, yeah, so I've got seven traps, 34 spells, 36 effect monsters, and 13 normal monsters. Okay, 
So I'm going to clean this up a bit, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>